counties across the state have reported challenges in getting potential district court jurors to complete an important survey. But Lewis and Clark County says it's been successful bringing down the number of outstanding responses. MTN's Eric Jockham spoke to them to find out how they're doing it. Each June, thousands of Montanans will open their mailbox and pull out one of these cards from their local clerk of district court. It means they've been selected to be part of the next cycle of potential jurors. Well, it's their civic duty. <laughs> um, I know they don't like to always hear that, but by law and statute, it says that they need to respond. Angie Sparks has been the Lewis and Clark County Clerk of District Court since 2017. Shortly after taking office, she implemented an electronic survey questionnaire. The goal? Make it easier for people to respond. I saw what it was doing for Missoula County, and her responses were really well. In June, 7,000 random Lewis and Clark County residents received this postcard, noting they had been selected as potential jurors. By September 1st, Lewis and Clark County had around 2,500 outstanding questionnaires. And when we spoke, they were down to just over 900. Compare that to Gallatin County, who posted on social media that there were more than 3,000 outstanding questionnaires. And I have 928 without. Sparks says she understands the electronic survey may not work for all residents. To reach those residents, Sparks sent a letter to people who hadn't responded with the physical questionnaire for them to fill out and return. The names of the people who failed to respond after that? I sent that list to the Sheriff's Department. We get 70 a week that now we have to dedicate deputies to go out and find these people or find that they've moved because you didn't change your address. Sparks acknowledges that for some people this may seem like a hassle but says it's important to think about what a robust pool of potential jurors means. If your family member was on trial, would you want a fair and partial juror? And the answer is yes, everybody would. A judge may find you in contempt and bring you before them. Reporting in Helena, Eric Jockham, MTN News.